A new exhibit at Union Station has everybody jumping and jiving, shaking, rattling and rolling. It's called The Science of Rock and Roll and it's the perfect opportunity to channel your inner guitar hero. you walk in the doors, it's an explosion of lights, sounds, and musical instruments, not unlike an actual rock concert. That's likely what the makers of the Science of Rock and Roll exhibit were going for, except this rock concert is way, way more interactive. Science of Rock and Roll is all about music, not just rock and roll. Music resonates with everyone. It's a little different. It's a high technology, high interactive exhibit, and so we really wanted to just bring it to Kansas City. Everyone that's come through it has been um, really positive with the interaction, with the experience, and with the ability. You know, you get this all access pass with a code on the back, so when you come home, you can actually access seven or so different interactives that you've done. The place is perfect for young and old, especially if you've got the music in you and it desperately wants out. When you put on your headphones and you put on the guitar, no one else can hear you. So as long as you look like you're rocking out, everyone around you is going to think you're a massively incredible guitar star. Just take those old records off the shelf. I, of course, found the vocal booth to be right up my alley. <clears throat> It's one of the most popular stops in the maze of music history. Everybody loves the vocal booth because you get to go in and there, there are three selections of songs of which you can choose one and then record yourself singing and rocking out and then you get to send it home to yourself via email and find out how great of a singer you really are. We stumbled across a burgeoning drummer who really seemed to be enjoying himself, three-year-old Milo Sullivan. He got some skills, man, because he practiced at home on the kitchen chairs, so <laughs> this is his first time on an actual drum set. Turns out the exhibit is perfect for moms who want to introduce their kids to music. This is a really great place to bring kids. Um, my son's three and he had a really great time and I plan on bringing, I have a lot of moms that are music oriented and I plan on bringing them all back. But it's just not for the kiddos. You know, this is a great exhibit for Mom's Day Out to, to get together with your girlfriends and bring the kids down in the strollers. The kids love all the lights and the interactive and the chance to get on the drums and the guitars and the keyboards and play all the music. So whether you're five or 55, this exhibit has something for everyone. It's perfect for you to channel your inner rocker with a little history lesson to boot. I like those moves. <laughs> <laughs> so the folks at Union Station, they told me that there have been a lot of companies coming in in the evening, you know, for like team building or employee mm -hmm. events or customer appreciation events, and they've gotten a lot of positive feedback on that, and, well, and the exhibit itself, of course. What is it about going into a room and singing your heart out? Like, you had fun. I could tell on your face. Like, that was your, like, I love this face. I was having a good time, but one of the songs <laughs> was like Black Sabbath, and I didn't know that one, and, and the other, uh, you don't even want to know what the other one was. So anyway. <laughs> Rock and roll. Rock and, and roll. And they have some live music coming up too. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they do. All right. Well, it sounds like